Hey everyone, this is Vijayat and today I'm going to show you the latest update that just came to the iPhone which is iOS 26 beta update. We actually got this update before the iPhone 17 even launched which is pretty exciting. You can see we got this public beta. So you should expect few updates in few months or so. I'll be talking about few new features, some changes and some drawbacks of the update. So most importantly whether or not you should install it on your iPhone. So first of all, let's talk about the theme itself. The main thing that changed is overall look. So Apple has introduced crystal layout look. You can see through the icons, menus, and it uh, it's a glass-like feel. Personally, I really liked it. I've been waiting for something like this since it was introduced few years ago on Samsung and some Android phones. It's finally on iPhone. And honestly, it looks really great. As you can see, when I move around the icons, uh, they have been slightly revamped, their appearance has changed, even the dialog boxes um, are now transparent. So when I pull, up, pull out the menu, it has the same glass-like effect uh, like the rest of the theme. So let's talk about the other changes that came with the iOS 26 update. First of all, I'll open the Photos app and you'll notice slightly updated, not a major redesign, but there are a few tweaks at the bottom. You'll see there is a search icon. Uh, that lets you search for images um, and you'll also see a selection like collection and library at the bottom on the top there's a new filter menu that lets you filter according to favorites edited photos videos and so much and so on so you can um, filter your images however you like so that's about uh, it in the terms of uh, layout change but, th but there's a little surprise when you open a portrait image on your iphone let me show you when you tap on the portrait photo you'll notice small icon on the top just below the three dots just tap on that and you'll see the special effect special 3d effect so as you move the phone around the photo starts to feel alive like a live photo with the motion honestly this is one of the most favorite features in this update it looks really really great and the best part, I uh, set these 3D motion photos at your, as your wallpaper. I have already set mine and it looks amazing. I've seen similar features on other phones, but I didn't expect it, Apple to bring uh, this update like that. So this feature is really definitely a win-win for me. Now let's explore some other apps, uh, system changes, uh, starting with the setting menu. Uh, usually there aren't a lot of major changes, but there are a few noticeable tweaks. First, the search bar in the settings has been moved uh, to the bottom of the screen, as you can see. In the previous uh, iOS version, you had to swipe down to reveal uh, it, but now it's uh, visible, which makes uh, navigation through the menu quicker and easier. Inside the settings, uh, if you go to the battery, go to the battery section, and you'll see some updates are there too. The battery usage graph and stats have been revamped. And it now shows the detailed info on how long you have been using each app and how much battery percentage each uh, each one is consuming, possibly based on the usage over the past seven days or so. That's pretty useful. It also displays your last charge. For example, uh, mine says it's uh, last charge to 86% uh, two hours ago. And under the battery health and charging, you can, you can see your battery maximum capacity mine dropped to 84 percent after the update while it was 85 percent before so that's something i noticed unfortunately the biggest issue i've faced with ios 26 is the battery drainage issue the battery is draining much faster now for example i was at 86 percent um two hours ago now i'm um, right down to 58 percent with the barely any usage uh, that's a big drawback and honestly i don't like that at all on the brighter side when you plug in the charger it shows how long it will take to reach a certain charge level like here it says 53 percent charge 29 minutes until 80 percent that's a handy feature but again fast battery drain uh, really takes away from overall experience let's talk about some other apps uh, and small changes first uh first of all i'll open the notes app but uh, honestly there isn't much of this change so i'll just close it down the calculator app there's nothing new here either um, next i'll check the clock app 
uh, again no changes uh, then uh, i'll open the messaging app and there are small few tweaks here and there but uh, since i don't use the messaging app uh, that and that often so i'll move it on now let's go to the safari and there is where you will notice some changes apple has gone with this cleaner more minimal design at the bottom clutter have been removed you have the url search bar and the three dots when you tap on the three dots you'll find all the other options tucked under the menu so i actually really like this revamp it follows a minimal approach uh, instead of uh, removing options they just uh, hidden them under one button which keeps the interface clean and simple there's one more change that i want to mention from the home screen so when you long press uh, and go to, into the customization mode you'll see new option called player icons this gives all your app icons a transparent and gloss like look personally i don't prefer this option it makes it uh, harder to tell apps it makes it harder to tell the uh, apps apart i still like the regular colorful icon because they are easier to recognize they just look more attractive to me but again that's a personal choice lastly uh, one of the major changes i noticed is the camera app the layout has been revamped uh, just like the other parts of the iOS, Apple has gone for the more minimal look there too. At the bottom uh, of the camera app, um, you'll see the options, videos and photos. You might be wondering where are other modes like portrait, cinematic, slow motion. Well, they are still there. Just They are just hidden. If you tap and hold either one of the photos or videos at the bottom, the rest of the options will pop up. Everything is still available. Just tucked away in a cleaner interface. The best feature in the camera app is ability to change resolution and frame rates to right from the top you no longer have to dig into settings or tap around repeatedly now you have an option to split tap on the resolution display and choose between 4k and hd um, and frame rates like 60 fps uh, 24 fps or 30 fps uh, and all with just one tap i really like this redesign of the camera app it feels more professional and it gives you quick access to essential controls and that's pretty much from the camera app changes now let's talk about few drawbacks and bugs that i noticed in this update first of all the main menu it feels choppy and laggy which i really don't like it used to be smoother before the update now it's slight stutter and that's not the iphone experience we expect another issue that i noticed uh, is the transition especially when after unlocking the uh, iphone there's a slight delay before it takes you to the home screen it's like it's stuck thinking for the moment and it's really annoying because iPhones are known for their smooth performance. Hopefully Apple will fix this in the next beta or stable release. As I mentioned earlier that there's also battery drainage issue. It is honestly the most frustrating part. Your phone loses charge way too fast even without doing much. Your phone loses charge way too fast even without doing much it drains like crazy and nobody wants their phones to die so quickly another bug that i came across is in the photos app when watching the videos uh, if you play a video and uh, if you play a video and then minimize and close it the audio keeps playing audio keeps playing in the background uh, even if you open another video the previous one sound still continues which makes no sense when you close the video it should stop that's definitely something apple needs to fix so that's it for today. Uh, I shared uh, all of the major changes and drawbacks I found in the iOS 26 update. Of course, there are many small tweaks and changes that I didn't cover. Otherwise, the video will go on forever. Uh, but I focused on the most important ones. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question, feel free to drop in the comments and I'll try to reply. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and bye bye.